Alright, it's uh, time for another one of these things. Not really a favorite of mine, these like collector's chests. Packed with Pokemon treasures. Two foil cards featuring Scream Tail and Iron Valiant. Uh, six booster packs and much more. Um, they're, they're fine. I feel like you can usually get them for like a decent price, especially like price per pack is actually not terrible, this one being 30 bucks. But I never like want to dive on them or anything, you know? Like, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're pretty underhyped by the Pokemon community, and I kind of agree. They're, they're kind of neat, I suppose. They can be good for like storing like bulk things. Um, but we have some Pokemans there. There's my Iron Valiant. Uh, we have Screamtail and Flutter Mane, then Iron Thorns. There's the back. There's the front. Let's get her opened up. Pop that open. And we have a pretty neat looking... I'm going to try and hold it in place. Pretty neat looking display. And really... Oh, look, it stayed. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. So, these are two coins. So, first off, we have the Iron Valiant. Very happy that they gave it a coin. I don't know about the blue. Iron Valiant is like white, green, pink. Like, pink would have been a much better fit. I would say green as uh, secondary if they didn't go with pink. The, the blue feels weird. I get that's a future paradox, like, kind of makes sense, I guess. But in that case, this should have been brown, but they went pink with the scream tail, so... Uh. Yeah. Anyways, we have the Screamtail, uh, pseudo-promo, uh, Hollow here. Not a terrible-looking card. I like the kind of dynamic action going on, especially with that face. Then we have our Iron Valiant, which I believe is just a straight-up reprint. I don't think there's any change here. The Hollow effect could be different from the original. But still one of my favorites, and a code card. Alright, our next little flap here is our packs. So we have Twilight Masquerade, we have a Temporal Forces, and we have an Obsidian Flames going back a bit. Then we have another Twilight Masquerade, another Temporal Forces, and let me guess, uh, not Obsidian Flames, Paradox Rift. Okay, cool. Uh, but we'll save those for here in a minute. Uh, it comes with stickers. Man, don't you... Don't you love stickers? I actually finally had a use for these stickers in a previous video. Um, I'll put the thumbnail on screen of the Game Switch boy. That was a that was a fun thing to build. I suggest watching that video. Maybe I'll link it at the end of this one. And our final thing, so I'm not going to bother opening because you guys get the memo, but it's one of these mini portfolio binders, one card per page, whoop de doo uh, I don't really care for the checkerboard thing going on, but they, they chose it for a reason, I'm sure. So now it is pack time. I don't really know what order these are in, we're just going to go in the order that I snacked, stacked them in. So I guess Paradox Rift, which was the last one that we revealed, will be going first. Maybe I'm going to regret that. Maybe it's going to be like the best pull first, and then everything else will be duds. We have the Flamingo, the Porygon, Oricoro, Toad Skull, Tatsugiri, Earthen Vessel, the Medical Energy, Swablu, Technical Machine, Blindside, and a Toxicity EX. Well, if this is the best thing that we pull, then I would be disappointed. <laughs> Hopefully we get something better. But cool, standard EX. Uh, next up, we have the Temporal Forces. I don't know, a lot of like the Scarlet and Violet sets kind of tend to blend together a bit for me, and Temporal Forces is definitely one of those that just blends in. Uh, we have the Mud Bray, Minchino, Rock Rough, the Litten, Full Metal Lab, uh, Golurk, Shaman, Golet, Finizen, and the Melmetal Hollow. Next up, we have the Twilight Masquerade, one, one of our much more newer sets. I do like the theming of this one, though, even if uh, some of the pack art can be a little over the top. We have Poochiana, Flabebe, Timber, Aeron, the Community Center, Fragariff, Brute Bonnet, Thwacky as a reverse, Corfish as a reverse, and we have the Full Art. Secret Rare Scream Tail EX. Number 197 of 167. Uh, sadly, this is a duplicate along with our EX from earlier. So, nothing super special, although when the reflection hits the eyes just right, it does look like it's just two eggs. Just wanted to point that out. Just some eggs on a skillet. Anyways, uh, three packs left. We are going to our Obsidian Flames, one of our two unique packs, as in there were only one of them in this chest. No duplicates. Uh, whoops, I revealed the code card. You know what? I don't care. There it is. There's the back of the code card. You can look at it all you want. <laughs> there it is. We have the Varum, the Smoliv, the Buzel, Padean Whooper, the Togetic, Ninetales, Poltegeist, Finizen, Frogadier, and the Palafin Hollow. Dang, nothing from our unique. But then we are back to Temporal Forces and we will be ending off on a Twilight Masquerade. We are flying through this video. I guess I am just high energy today, although I don't feel like I'm acting like it. 
We have the Carcol, the Grottle, Finizen, Bronzor, Bionic... Uh, but but because David Ruin Kiklis Explorer's Guide Latias Lickitung. No, we got the illustration Lickitung. Not bad. Number 180 of 162. And it's a very nice looking card. I just realized I was holding it like off frame. My bad. Um, Yeah, not too bad looking. I tend to really enjoy the uh, illustration rares when they're like, you know, like very high art. Um, Or when it's just like very mundane. Like, it's just them living in society. In this case, it's just the lick tongue eating its its dinner in somebody's house. I'm not sure if it was supposed to, but it, it, it do be. Okay, not too bad. Definitely the best pull of the day, in my opinion. I'm sure value-wise, that Screamtail probably beats it. But it's also just the Screamtail full art. And full arts tend to be kind of boring, in my opinion. Like, the generic full art. So just like the, like, blurred background. I I, I don't know. Perrin, Driplin, Cramorant, Luxio. This is the final pack. We have the Monkey Dory and the Sinatosha. Lame. Not too bad. I mean, we did get three hits. Like, three out of six is pretty good odds. So, like, statistically, we did good, right? Like, three out of six is pretty nice. And honestly, I think that's a pretty nice looking lineup, like all three of them together. But, uh, yeah, not, uh, the most wild. But now it's time for bonus card of the day. Explanation right down there. Uh, gonna be pulling from the back like we usually do. And a no-sleeve card. Very tiny dot of whitening right there. And that is the only hint I have as far as age. This card looks like it has not seen the sun. I'm gonna go pretty modern. We're gonna go actually just the 2023. And ooh, what year? 2024. We have the illustration rare pincer. Now, this is actually a more unique one for this box, as a majority of the cards in here are singles that I purchased. But this card was not actually purchased. Uh, my girlfriend picked up a couple packs, and we opened a couple packs, and we pulled the pincer. Uh, so yeah, this was actually a pulled card, not a purchased one. And I don't know, if I saw this one out in the wild, if it was like a dollar, I might have picked it up. But uh, I'm very happy that, you know, it was pulled instead, because I'm not sure if it's a card I would really dive on. But not too bad. Pretty thick line art going on here. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all of that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and link the Game Switch Boy little handheld switch device thing that I made. <laughs> it was so scuff. And I guess I'll go ahead and link, uh, as always, a playlist of all of my Pokemon videos if you feel like binging. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see all of you next time. I don't know when I hit my camera, but it got really misaligned. <laughs> Goodbye for now.